Hey everyone, I'm finally back. I know it's been forever since I've last posted a video. I truly do apologize. So I thought I would come back by showing you guys how I've been doing my eyes while I've been gone. I've been doing this like bronze smoky eye. I thought I would show you guys. And I think this look would also be great for prom. So if anybody's going to prom or just any special occasion, this would be perfect. So if you guys are interested in seeing this tutorial, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids and I'm also going to bring this underneath my eyes. This is just going to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing and it's going to help my eyeshadow stay on the whole night. Now I'm going to be taking this shadow tint and it's in the color Spiced Rum and just by looking at that a lot of you guys would recognize the brand. I don't know what the brand is because it just does not say it. Um, I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag so if any of you know the brand please let me know because I really like it and I just want to like probably buy different colors because I just love it. It stays on your lids so well so if you guys know the brand please let me know and I'll have that in the description box for the rest of you guys that want to know where it's from. So I'm just going to be applying this all over my eyelids and I'm going to be blending this up to my crease with my 217 MAC brush. So as you can see I first applied it on the eyelid like I said and I just start blending that up to the crease. Now I'm going to be taking Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to be applying this on my crease. I'm using a similar brush but this is from Sigma. All the brushes I have I'll list them down below and I'll have a direct link for you guys. So I'm just applying this on the crease and I love this eyeshadow because it just warms up the entire look. I just I love this eyeshadow for the crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with another Sigma brush. This is like a fluffier one and with no product in it I'm just blending the rest of my eyeshadow out and then I'm taking this Sigma pencil brush and I'm taking Coco Bear and applying this right underneath the lower lash line and just blending this all out very well and then I'm going to be taking that eyeshadow apply I applied all over my eyelid and I'm going to be applying this underneath the eyes in the inner corners and just blending it out with my finger you can use a brush but I was kind of too lazy for that and then I'm going to be going in with a black eyeshadow. I'm taking this black eyeshadow from my Naked 2 palette. Really doesn't matter what black eyeshadow you get. I'm just taking this small tapered brush and taking that black on the outer crease of my eye and then blending that away and then also applying just a little bit right above the crease. And then I'm going to be taking a flat definer brush, grabbing that black, applying this in the outer part underneath my eyes. And I'm going to go back in with my pencil brush, taking Coco Bear again, and just blending this all out so it won't be so harsh. Now I'm going to be taking this um, hard candy concealer in the color light and this is a concealer but I'm going to be using this on my waterline just because I like the way it opens up my eyes. I don't like to use a white pencil eyeliner because it's way too white and it doesn't look natural so try using like a skin colored uh, pencil and that would look great. Now I'm going to be taking soft and gentle. I love to use it on my face. But I'm going to be using these on my eyes today. I'm going to be applying that on my brow bone to give it a nice highlight. And I'm also going to be going inside the inner corners and I'm just using like a flat brush for this. For my eyeliner, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Gel Liner in Blackest Black. I have been using this eyeliner for such a long time. I think this was like my fourth time repurchasing this and I just absolutely love this. It is the best eyeliner I've seriously tried in my entire life. I love it so much. And I'm just applying this um, with an angled brush and I'm just creating my regular winged eyeliner like I always do. Now I'm just going to be applying some mascara. I don't really like to coat my top lashes so much just because I do wear false lashes. 
So I just put on enough to just cover up some of the eyeshadow fallout. And then I like to apply some on the lower lash line. On the lower lash line, I do like to apply um, a little bit more coat because I don't put on any false lashes down there. And now I'm going to be taking these Red Cherry Eyelashes number 43. These have been my favorite so far. I stocked up on these lashes like crazy because they're just great lashes. Like I love the way they shape my eyes. These have definitely been my favorite and I feel like I'm going to be repurchasing these eyelashes for a very long time. So then after that I just applied eyeliner to cover up the glue and that was it. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I truly do apologize for being gone for such a long time. And yeah, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you all so much for subscribing and I'll see you guys all later. Love you guys. Bye.